All right, so we got Gilbert Burns, a boxer, versus Kevin Holland, a kickboxer. I think Kevin Holland's got the advantage on this one. He's, he can knock you out or kick you. And um, Gilbert Burns is only focusing on his punches. So I have a feeling Holland's going to win this one with a knockout in the second round. What do you guys think? Understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of Challenge for the title in 2021. A lot of fans believe we'll get back there. one just about to get underway. All right, Gilbert Durinho Burns ready to go here early in this round. I don't have to tell most of you that his jiu-jitsu is world-class, but that says nothing of his striking that has improved leaps and bounds under the tutelage of Henry Hooft. And Gilbert Burns believes in this matchup and many others in this welterweight division. If he just needs to kickbox with no takedowns, so be it. He's ready to knock your head off. Nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Oh, he's not wasting any time. Those thudding leg kicks just continue to land. I'm not sure how many of those. He's hurt bad. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh, he lands yet another kick to the head. Every body kick lands. Well, this kickboxer is a layered striker, and look at that, he's out to prove it early. A beautiful body kick, and on the other side, the boxer has that sort of Piotr Jan high guard yep. paid for it there in the midsection. He's got to bring those elbows down if he wants to defend that kick. But this is the investment, going to the body. These body kicks may not seem like they're going to pay dividends now, but they will as the fight goes on. Holland's cut above the eye. 
Looking to land the leg kick now. And then he throws an overhand leg. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Oh, a roundhouse kick lands. Nice combination lands to the head. Looking for the takedown, he gets it. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Lands a big elbow there. While well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Hunt. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Look at him, he's setting up a choke now. Look at that, he's setting it up. That Dorse is tight. He's gonna work hard to try to get the finish. Oh, come on, that has gotta be it. Guys, come on. Oh, he got out. He cleared his leg, got back to his back, and created some space between him and his opponent to stay out of that dark show. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strokes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this. Keep gotta watch his deck. That guillotine is tight. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. Holland's in half court. All right, has the guard closed here? And there you go again. Half guard. Versus the position there. Nice transition by Hall. He's got to be careful here. In the half guard. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Burns. Great shot from the top position. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Kevin Holland gets caught by the elbow there. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Mm, nice. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. He's got to be careful. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the face. This is an educated crowd, Jay, and they appreciate high level grappling. And that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Holland's cut on his forehead is so bad at this point that maybe the doctor is. Oh, a shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you can hit with a shot like that. To stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. All right, so that is that round in the books. Holland's face is a mask of red blood. We'll see what the cut man can do to try to stem the tide here. I'm not sure it's going to matter. I feel like we might be uh, at the beginning of the end. We'll see. All right, so he survives to the stool, but he's going to need a plastic surgeon on Monday. Let us show you some of the strikes that caused that damage above the eye. Just beautiful striking on display. He found the target Great. constantly. He Great. opened up a big cut above the eye, and now he sees that he's got a wound in front of him. He's going to target him. So an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Oh, perfect execution on the low kick. Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see it anymore. I mean, I just don't need to see it. it, it it's too... Oh, it looks stop, like the ref stop. has paused the action here. Oh, he's going to call in the doctor to look at that cut. I don't know, John. It looks bad, man. 
That's a bad cut. I don't know what the decision's gonna be here. It can go either way. Yeah, Doctor's gonna stop the fight, and again, his opponent deserves credit for causing the damage. You hate to see a fight end that way, especially a fight that good, but the fighter has wow, to Wow, did not see that coming. Doctor Doctor stoppage. First time I seen that one. This is how it's wrong about it was getting bloody. Kevin Holland. And as an offensive fighter, you continue to go to the same area. You continue to target that cut and try to inflict damage on your opponent. Well, by doing that, the referee said, enough. Let me get the ringside position in here. Let's see if this guy's okay. And ultimately, they made the decision to stop the fight. We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO, Gilbert Durinho Burns. A standing ovation in this arena, as you might expect. An incredible win for the boxer here tonight. Not only gets the better of the kickboxer on the feet, gets him out of there as well. He used his full skill set. He was willing to do anything to get the job done. Sure.